Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a late night video. It's a haul video! And um, I've been collecting this, so it's kind of like a collective haul. Well, it is, because kind of. I don't know. <laughs> um, I've been purchasing a couple things like recently, like today and this week, but certain things are maybe about two, three weeks old as far as um, when I purchased it. Um, other than that, we have new things, we have old things, we have good things, and we have things that I haven't yet tried out. So if you're interested in what I picked up for this collective ish haul video then please keep on watching all right guys so the first thing that i want to show you is not makeup but it is makeup storage and it is from amazon i'm sure you see it behind me this this is the makeup storage box that i recently purchased from amazon and i love it for the price now it is open out of the box basically i wanted to open it because i wanted to see if palettes do fit in it how big it was because if not i was going to return it but i love it for the price i believe it was 17.99 and it's by the brand sorbus i'm going to link it down below and i also saved the box that it came with but this is pretty much it it brings four of these tiny drawers and then it brings two of the larger ones and i did this so you can see that my Naked Smoky palette fits in this. So, so far, so good. As you might obviously know or, and tell, it's not filled up, but it sure is going to fill up. So, I absolutely love this. It's so worth it. So, so, so worth it. I have it in this Walmart um, bag because mostly everything except for one was from Walmart. So, let me start with the two from Walmart. I got these lashes right here from Salon Perfect in the style 614 because um, Edis Baleen, I think, in from YouTube, raves about it. Then I picked up a liquid eyeliner from e.l.f. This was two bucks and I got it in the shade Jet Black. The reason why I picked this up was because I wanted the NYC liquid liner, but if you don't know, they are discontinuing that liquid liner and that's like a cult favorite and they are discontinuing it and I wanted something just like that brush. I do own the NYC but I accidentally purchased the pearlized black so it has little glitters on it and I don't like that. Yes, I can go over it with another um, gel eyeliner and then the glitters don't show but that's an extra step that I really don't want to do, you know what I mean? But this was the most similar. I, I don't know if you can see it right there. That's why I picked it up. It was only two bucks. I mean, for two bucks, it's worth the shot, right? So let me know if you want me to do a first impressions on any of these or on all of these down below. And then the last thing that I picked up from the drugstore wasn't actually from Walmart, but from Walgreens is this Make It Last Milani setting spray. I like that it's matte. Um, the reason why I got this was because of Kathleen Lights and she raved about it in her haul video and she says that it smells like amazing and I was like, oh, anything that smells amazing always, always gets me. All right, next we're going to go right into everything I purchased from Sephora. So I have quite a few things in this little Sephora bag. The first being the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Now, this, I got it right when it came out that day and I already opened it and swatched it and took pictures of it, but I still wanted to include it because, I mean, hello, do you not see this? I went to Sephora today and my local Sephora was out of it. All they had was the 
original glow kits, the one in sun dipped, and my girlfriend was like, I went with my girlfriend, and she was like, girl, should I get it, should I get it? I was like, hell yeah, you should get it. Like, girl, listen, they're amazing. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is beautiful, and it has six shades, and let me tell you, they're amazing absolutely amazing and I know that it has glitter but I promise you it is not chunky at all it is not gritty the formula is amazing my second thing I purchased from Sephora which I'm very excited for is this Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow you guys uh, I got it in the shade Rose Gold Retro Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm so excited for this. Okay. Look at that freaking color. The packaging is amazing. Let's swatch it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that is intense. And this is what the wand looks like. Amazing, amazing. You guys, oh, I'm in love, in love. Do you hear my dog? Oh my gosh, Poseidon, so rude. He's so cute. But super, super beautiful. It looks and feels like it's gonna be bomb.com. All right, the third thing that I got was the Laura Mercier Deluxe Mini Translucent Powder. Now, I was like, do I really want to spend $23 on this tiny little thing? So this is what it looks like. It's fairly small, but I do have a banana powder from Bella Pierre that I love, and it has less product than this. So, and it's more expensive. So I figured I haven't even gone through that and I got that a couple months ago. I know I'm not gonna go through that. I mean, unless I love it, but I don't wear makeup every day. So I know this will last me a couple months if I do love it. But yeah, it comes in this tiny little jar. So it has this on it to protect it from coming out, which I love. And then it has a small little puffy you know, one of those puffs thingies, um, which I appreciate. But yeah, I will give this a try and let you know. And of course, it's in the shade Translucent. Right, the last thing that I picked up from Sephora was the NARS Pot Concealer. Actually, sorry. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I don't own the creamy concealer that everyone loves, but I was like, I want a new concealer. I do have the Tarte Shape Tape. I love that one. I just wanted something different. And I wanted something that's not liquidy. So when this came out, I was like, yes. Now I did swatch a couple colors in the store. And for my skin tone, the perfect one was Creme Brulee. This packaging is so good. It is $30, so it's definitely pricey. Uh, look at the packaging like NARS packaging is just amazing and again it's in the shade light 2.5 creme brulee look at that you guys awesome 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 I would swatch it but I really don't want to ruin um, I just don't want to ruin it maybe if I do a first impressions you'll get to see it I don't know and then the last two things that I got were coin perks, and one was the Beauty Blender Liquid Soap. I don't have a Beauty Blender, but I have a Real Technique sponge, and I thought, hey, it still does the same job as a Beauty Blender, so why not? And then I got another Clinique Pep Start. I got a sample last time I purchased from Sephora, and I love it, so I definitely want to invest in a large one. This is so good for when you just wake up, your eyes are like seven in and you know you just want to brighten and waken up your eyes and depuff them 
this is so 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 good so now i have a backup to my little sample i have another one so your girl's good <laughs> all right and lastly this is also um i want to say things that you can get just on not online but all of the next things it's the ones that i purchased all online where i did not go to a store for it and they're a different brand so let's get into it so the first thing that i want to show you is um this brush set from bh cosmetics and i already opened this i've already used it and i love it this is beautiful absolutely beautiful bh cosmetics hit it out the park it brings nine brushes and it's in this marbled rose quartz not really rose i believe to me it's more peachy than rose oh my gosh you guys i mean look at this just do you see this do you see this like amazing it's just so beautiful the handles it is super just soft next thing that i didn't purchase but it was um actually a gift and i haven't used it but i thought it was definitely honorable mention here was this super cute um unicornish brush set that my stepmom gave to me for my birthday oh my gosh you guys so let me just open it up i literally have not used it just for the purpose of this is what it looks like i've been seeing them everywhere on instagram and i debated i'm like should i get it should i get it or should i just wait a little bit because i had just gotten the bh cosmetics brush set and i was just like I'll just wait, I'll just wait, and then lo and behold, my stepmom was like, oh, you know, like she thought of me, like, yes, girl. So thank you so much, mamita, that's what I call my stepmom. I love, love, love these. The next thing that I got was from The Balm Cosmetics, and this is the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm. Let me tell you. I love the balm. This is my third product from them. I've never tried this, but I've heard nothing but good things. Um, one thing I love about them is their packaging. I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous. I own their Mary Luminizer and I own their Hot Mama Blush, which is absolutely stunning. This is what the packaging looks like. And here is it right there. It has a mirror. And then this is the blush itself it oh my gosh like i just i already have a fairly new bronzer but it's a split bronzer so one side is um satinish and then the other side has a shimmer to it i just wanted something more matte and a little bit deeper because the one that i have i love it's just a more natural type of glow you know what i mean it's definitely like that type of bronzer that gives you that that little glow and a little um shimmer to the face very natural where just for a natural day um it's that type of a bronzer and i wanted something just matte the next thing that i picked up was the benefit professional um so it's really really cute packaging um i haven't opened it but i guess we can just so we can see the full size of it so so that's how big it is i mean i believe that's fairly big right there it's super super cute and i just i'm so happy that i have the full size of this all right next we have makeup geek so you guys, Makeup Geek has this sale. I don't know if it's still on, but um, when I ordered this, they had in their sale tab what they called damaged items. So basically what it is is when they're making these, uh, whatever product that Makeup Geek is making, you know how like when it comes to food, if one of the food didn't come out right, they just throw it out like the bad ones or whatever, even though like they're not bad, it's just that it doesn't look like it's supposed to look like. Same thing with the shadows or whatever it is that make whatever product makeup geek is making. If one has a little scratch because of the machine and it's not supposed to, um, I think they throw it out. But what makeup geek is doing is that they're actually selling it for a, a fraction of the price 
um, and then they let you know it's damaged. You know, it may have a scratch, it may, you know, whatever the case may be. Let me just say, for the price, I would get damaged because one of them said damage and it doesn't even, there's nothing, honestly, there is nothing wrong with it. I got the dual chrome eyeshadow in Cosmopolitan. Look at that small little dent. You see? Nothing. Three dollars for this. For that small last dent. So look at that. Holy pigmentation. Gorgeous. Alright, the next one, this is the one that was not damaged in my opinion, is just a regular pressed eyeshadow and this is in tan lines. It's tan lines right there. You see, I don't think there really is anything wrong with it. I don't know, they might have made a mistake, but hey, who cares? <laughs> Look at this color. Oh my gosh. That is tan lines and that is a beautiful brown, you guys. Look at that. Oh yeah. And then lastly, I got the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Grand Stand. So that's what that looks like. Now let's swatch it. Whoa. That's a be- <laughs> Wow, you guys. Look at that. Holy cow. Alright, now let's move on to the next brand and to keep um, on with the eyeshadow trend, I ordered more single eyeshadows to fill up my small Z palette. Um, these are from the brand ColourPop. I got five different colors. This is what the ColourPop packaging looks like. Very cute like always. This is in the shade Top Notch. This is definitely a rich type brown. So that's what... Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was awesome. Okay, the next one I got is a more cooler, lighter brown in the shade Wake Up Call. That's what Wake Up Call looks like. Now let's swatch it. You're gonna see, see that? That's Wake Up Call. It's a little, like it definitely blends in. Definitely a transition color, which is what I aimed for. Okay, the next color is High Strung. It's one of their best sellers. It's High Strung right there. You freaking guys, holy, 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 holy pigmentation. What? ColourPop. Five dollars, you guys. Five dollars for each one. And oh my gosh, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Alright, the next one that I picked up was Come and Get It. That is Come and Get It right there. I think this is like a dual chrome-ish, I believe. Alright, so that is that right there. Do you see how beautiful? Oh my gosh, I hope the camera's picking it up. Sideline, which is a gorgeous green. Well, at least it looked like online. I love green shades. Sideline right there. Do you see that? Do you see that amazing green? Oh my gosh, that is freaking amazing. Wow. Kathleen Lights type times ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip and Aquarius. If you don't know, I adore Kathleen Light. This is what it looks like. This is Aquarius right here. Now let's swatch it on the back of my hand. Ooh, yep, look at that freaking color, you guys. Alright. Look at that color. Like, what? Do you see how beautiful that is, you guys? I can't deal. That's, that's gorgeous. It's definitely like a peachy kind of nude, which... I like. <laughs> Alright guys, I only have three things left. It's the same thing. Let's get into it. And it is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick. I picked up three. Yes, three. So I have Pink Lemonade, Beach Babe, and Rum Punch. Let me show you the packaging. So off the bat, I mean the box is just cute within itself. That's Rum Punch right there. The packaging is beautiful. So that's the packaging right there. Look at that. That is so pretty. You just, it's like this blue marble. It has the color on the bottom with the corresponding color shade. So I love that. This is gold. I mean, I love that. 
And then again, this is Rum Punch right there. Let's swatch it. Oh my god. If you don't know, my favorite lipstick is the Urban Decay, um, what is it? The Urban Decay lipsticks that they came out, the Vice, the Vice lipsticks, I don't know, that they came out with like a hundred shades, some exclusive to Ulta, some exclusive to, um, Sephora. Those are my favorite lipsticks ever, especially the Comfort Matte Formula. But swatching this on the back of my hand, holy cow, whoa. Let me just get going to the shade. So that's Rum Punch right there. Do you see that beautiful nude? I don't know what is it with nudes, but I'm loving them. Alright, this one's Pink Lemonade. So that's Pink Lemonade right there. Let's swatch it. I'm going to swatch it right under it. It's a little bit nudier. Nudier. <laughs> That is pink lemonade right there. So definitely more pale pinkish than rum punch, but still gorgeous. I think I would still wear it, I think. And then the last one is Beach Babe. Here we go. Oh my gosh. So that is Beach Babe right there. Let's swatch it. Wow, that one looks like it's going to be my favorite. And Rum Punch, girl. I can't wait. <laughs> so that last one in the bottom is Beach Babe. Wow. Oh my gosh. So yes, guys. These are the new, some of the shades of the new Tarte lipsticks. In my personal opinion, from swatching them, I think they're going to be... Mm. the new hype honestly because the way it swatched the way it looks and these colors and the pigmentation are on point literally on point all right guys that was all for this haul video um i hope that you guys liked it if there's anything that you saw that is one of your holy girls or that you love or that you didn't love please let me know in the comments down below and if you want to see a first impressions video which is where i test out the products for the first time on camera and make a look with it please like give this video a thumbs up like it and comment down below don't forget to subscribe and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys